Section 5.3, example 5, we'll find the remaining parts of a triangle. So we have beta, or capital B, which is easier than beta, is 50 degrees, B is 5, and C is 6. And again, we have angle, side, side, or side, side, angle. This is when we use the ambiguous case. So you only have to check the supplement in the ambiguous case. You don't have to do this for any of the other cases. So let's draw the triangle. We know B is 50 degrees. C is six, so I'll just put C right here. And then B is five. And then the question is, does it make it to the bottom or not? That's what we don't know. Is five long enough to make it to the base? So as we start solving the math, we'll find out. So we'll start with the law of sines, and then we will check the supplement. So law of sines tells me sine of 50 over 5 equals sine of this unknown angle over 6, so sine of C over 6, and we'll multiply by 6 to solve. I like sine on top here because we're solving for angles. So 6 sine of 50 over 5 equals this. So sine of C equals all that. So then to solve for C, this is where we use sine inverse. So keep a lot of decimal places. If you have a calculator where you can use second ANS, it'll use all of the digits. But otherwise, just type a bunch of digits. Enter, and we get an angle of 66 degrees, which is possible. So let's do 66.82 degrees. So let's find out if the supplement also works. So we've made a triangle. 50 degrees, 66 Point eight two degrees, 6 and 5. And then the question is, is really what, could we have made a triangle there as well? That's what we're checking. So let's check the supplement. We only have to do this for the ambiguous case. All the other cases aren't this bad. So the supplement is 180 minus 66.82. I got 113.18. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to compare that with the given angle to see if that's a possible triangle. So could we have a triangle with 50 degrees and 113.8? Oops, wrong one. So if we do 50 plus 113.18, yeah, it's less than 180. So this second triangle actually is possible. And that second angle would, the third angle would be, we might as well just find it while we're here, is 16.82. So in the next example, or one of the next coming examples, we'll see what happens when it doesn't work. But this is what happens when it does work. Um, let's find the third angle in this triangle while I have the calculator out. 180 minus 50 minus 66.82. 63, oops, 63.18 degrees. And then we can use the law of sines to finish solving these. So for both of these, we know two sides. They're both six and five. Um, they just have different angles. So it's just saying we take a little protractor. There's kind of two spots where we could land and make that length. So we just have to find the third side on both of these. So that's A. And A, they just have different A's. So triangle one and triangle two. Let's find triangle one first. You can see why the ambiguous case is not that fun. So we can say sine of 66. Actually, I usually like to use the given side, easier numbers. Sine of 50 over five equals sine of 63.18. It's always opposite angle and opposite side over A. 
cross multiply a sine 50 equals 5 times sine of 63.18 and divide by sine of 50. And we get 5 sine of 63.18 divided by sine of 50. So A is 5.82 on triangle 1. Cool, so we solve triangle 1. We know all three sides and all three angles. Triangle 2, we get a slightly different A. It looks like it's smaller because that's what made it the different angle. So we'll do same thing, sine of 50 over 5. And then we get what? Sine of 16.82 over A because it makes a different angle. Now, I'm going to flip them because I think that way is easier. So 5 over sine of 50 is A over sine of 16.82. I like this better than cross multiplying, just giving you multiple tools and multiply by sine of 16.82. Sine of 16.82 times 5 divided by sine of 50. And A is only 1.88 on this triangle. Makes sense, it should be smaller, 1.89. So this is the basically worst case scenario when you have to solve two triangles. And that again happens because you check the supplement, just reminding you how we got here. So we found an angle, we checked the supplement, and then the supplement still worked. So that would be following this case right here. So we'll see the other cases um, in the later examples. This is the worst case I know. Trust me.